it's one of those things I feel like everyone should be an official um, if they if they play sports because it's completely different to be on the other side. You could be the best player ever, but then as as soon as you step onto the sideline as an official, it's it's different watching the game and it's different um, when, once you have become an official to play the game. Late my junior year, I started playing intramurals with our intramural coordinator, and he's like, "You could do this as a career," and that it kind of hit me there where I didn't, I never even thought about working campus recreation after college until he said that. If you don't stay composed. There's a lot of things that officials can develop that employers will look for, you know, people that can handle themselves in tough situations or heated environments when their, you know, feelings escalate and emotions get high and things like that. These intramural officials will have experience dealing with those situations. It's really important um, to have good conflict management skills. Uh, we look for that to begin with and we, we work with officials a lot um, because it is sports, people are competitive. There are people that are definitely will get upset with you and kind of get mad at you and let you know it, especially if you're kind of new out here. So, um, But you know, you're just calming them down, telling them what you saw, telling them why you made the call you did. If we show confidence, if we show professionalism in, in uh, how we act and how we dress and things like that, participants are going to be more respectful of us. And we're running it, there's an inadvertent whistle. The play is going to be 10. There's no experience needed. They come to our uh, first uh, rookie meeting and, and we tell them about the position. Then we get into our uh, sport training so for flag football we have our rules training uh, classroom meeting where we talk about rules and and things like that and start to teach them the rules of the game then for flag football we move to a non-field training night um, that we uh, get them out on the field teach them positioning what to look for during certain plays where we need them to be standing and, and even down to as detailed things as how to blow the whistle you know effectively and, and strong and have a presence. We have a, a, a scrimmages so that the officials can see live plays in front of them and kind of get a feel for how fast the game actually is because the first two nights don't really um, give that perspective. So the third night is um, so that they can see how fast the plays are and kind of dissect them in their head and know what to expect their first shift. We kind of try to develop their comfort level with these scrimmages so that when they go out to officiate their first game and you know it's regular season and it means something they will have some experience already being out on the field and officiating live action. You have to be able to um, go into an uncomfortable environment. It's never comfortable the first time you, you're out there officiating. Um, and so being able to challenge yourself uh, beyond your comfort level, outside your comfort zone is something that um, a lot of people don't choose to do, but our intramural officials are doing that and they're going to benefit from that. We call it the funnest job on campus because you're around sports. It's what we love to do. Um, so it's, it's fun and you get life skills.